Right, so how are we doing guys? Just put this in at the beginning of the video. I'm actually recording this video over two separate days. When I was looking at the salvage operations for the wrench that we spent so long looking for yesterday, I think I must have been looking at this one here because I remember reading this quite a number of times saying that it uh, ups the damage in the harvest from the wrench, ratchet or impact driver. But actually this first one here, if we put a point into this, it actually has unlocks wrench and crafting. Now, we needed to get the acid anyway. And acid, again, is found from underneath the sinks mainly. There are other places that you can find it. But underneath the sinks is the number one place to find that. So we ended up getting everything for the bike, as you well know. But I just wanted to clarify that because I did make a mistake there that if we put one point into salvage operations, we could have used our forged iron and we could have actually unlocked the uh, the wrench from here. It's a shame that you can't actually click on this and then come up here to read it. But hey ho, that's just the the way it is. So there you go, guys. Now you know if you put one point into salvage operations, you can unlock the wrench right let's get cracking so how are we doing guys and welcome it's kraken here back with seven days to die in alpha 19 the dummies guide the beginner's guide and we're on top of our little shack now if you remember the last episode i put the torch onto this little gable end over here and that unfortunately attracted far too many zombies because we got an open open top bus looking kind of contraption here in our base so i had to take that down uh, but we still have a zombie downstairs that is um causing us a few issues today we need to start a little bit of work on our hall base and maybe get a raid in for the trader as well but what we are going to have to do is put a point into master chef because we had hunger issues for the whole of the last episode and we need to sort that out. So I put one point into it. And we've nearly got another point. We're very close to it. Now this means that we can do bacon and eggs. Boiled and grilled meat. Baked potatoes. Cornbread. And teas and coffees. Which is very, very, very good. Now unfortunately we did have to throw away. A lot of the things that we had. Um, in the last episode we had. A load of chrysanthemums for making red tea. We have had to throw that away, but we have got the meat here and some eggs. So we can do the bacon and eggs, which is one of the best things to make instantly. Oh, there's Homer. I think he was the one causing us a few issues. So we're going to get that on the go straight away. Bacon and eggs. One of those up there. And also, I was looking at the... There we go. Morning chimes blunderbuss ammo because obviously we got horde night coming up in a couple of days and that is very easy to make just some small stones some gunpowder and that's all the gunpowder we've been finding around and some paper as well now paper seems to be our limiting factor at the moment yeah we've got plenty of gunpowder we've got plenty of stones so we're gonna have to keep hold of whatever paper that comes our way so Throw that back in there. And throw that back in there for the minute. We're going to drink a red tea. Now this helps your digestion. So your food will last a little bit longer. So it's always good to sort of drink that first. Before you do your eating. So we're going to have that. We've got our free bacon and eggs here. That will throw away that jar into there straight away turn him off and let's get cracking right so here we come we've come to this little trader quest over here now that took quite a quite a bit of time to get over here literally that was just about a kilometer and that took us a good good while and it looks like we've got a few zombies here causing us a little bit of an issue 
But what we are going to do before we start the quest, we're not going to double loot this like we did in the other episode. And I'm not looking again. Oh, I wouldn't have seen you on the floor anyway. Right, let's take care of a few of these zombies. What I like to do, if I'm not going to double quest, I'll always just check a few things out first. Like if the car is lootable, if the letterbox at the front is lootable. And if you've got something like this Shamway box here, it's always worth going into this twice. Just before we start the quest, since we made the effort to come all the way over here. And there we go. We got ourselves an apple pie straight away for our troubles. Uh, is there anything else here worth taking? Barbecue, no. Let's just check. Do they actually have a letterbox? No, these people don't believe in letterboxes. Right. Let's get this quest started. Here we go. So what are we doing? A fetch. As always, grab our chairs. Always tempt you with a little bit of loot there. Come on out, Nurse Nancy. We've got somebody in the side room just over to the right, just over here as well. Ooh. Slightly missed her. I was aiming for her head. Let's just make sure. Yeah, blunderbusses are locked and loaded. What are you doing down there? Are you struggling? There we go. Now, a few of you mentioned that we missed a bit of a trick yesterday by not going and grabbing all the final loot in all those houses we went into. The reason for that was you saw how many houses we needed to go into to get the... Um, Get the wrenches. The wrenches were the important factor. They take 5% less damage and deal 10% when you're indoors. Well, that's very good. So we do more damage and receive less damage. Well, that's, that's very nice. Da -da -da. What do we got here? Let's see what we've got about. Any coffee for us? the coffee seeds right okay got somebody in here no a bookshelf oh paper we're going to keep hold of the paper because we need that for our blunderbuss ammo right now i am going to quickly take out these couches because i know at the top of these stairs we're going to have a few zombies and we might have to jump back down. We're going to try not to because they normally demolish the chairs. Got her on the way down. Beautiful. I don't know if there's any hidden loot up there. We'll have to have a look. Bullet pistol? No. Bit of lead though. What have we got in this sports bag? Nothing much. Not much in there, right. Well, we got the older Bart Simpson. Come on, play ball. Beautiful, and there's our skill point as well. We've got an ammo pile here. Some more blunderbuss ammo, very nice. More of that we can get the better. Now this looks good, a mining book. Harvest 10% more ores when buzzed from coffee. So perfect, so if we go mining... We want to make sure we have a coffee first. And that will really help us. Another sports bag behind here. I thought there was a zombie in here. He's just having a big sleep. No, he wasn't in there. Oh, this is very nice. Scrap armor. Cool, okay. Well, we just need to quickly... Put this pocket mod onto our better armour. I like the scrap armour. It's quite heavy. But it um, does really protect you. Padded boots. Oh, we're wearing level 4s already. Right, that's where they were. Come on out. 
Well now, Chelsea. Oh. And there's our supplies. Beautiful. Beautiful, sir. Job done. Now, one thing I wanted to check, I'm not overly sure on, can we scrap the steroids? Some honey, very nice. Can we scrap the steroids? No. I didn't know whether I could get the testosterone from the steroids or not, but that's something that you can't, cannot do, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, doing very well for medical bits in here. Now, that's the quest done. Is there no final loot in here? Something we just missed there. I know this is a small POI. Flashlight. Now we've got our wrench. I'm actually going to take this bed apart because they're very good for springs. So, as we are here with a bed... There we go, six springs. You need springs to build a lot of different things. Let's just quickly check up here. Okay, so not so bad, not so bad. Yeah, I don't think there's actually any final loot in here. We've got the bookshelf. It was nice, we don't need the plants. A few bags. Nothing too special, but we've done alright though. We've got some coffee. Is there anything I missed in here? Got another Shamway Foods. And we've got the Shamway Foods that we can go and do again. At the beginning. was in here this time hopefully not get get punched for our troubles there he is right, thank you okay and there we go in the box and we got another blueberry pie this time it was probably blueberry last time I don't think apple pie is actually in the game also, we need to start digging up cobblestone. This is the cement. The ones that are just a darker blue are cobblestone. We need to start picking those up as much as possible. Where did I put my bike? There we go. Luckily, you get a marker where your bike is, which is very useful. And one bonus about having your bicycle is that you don't become encumbered. Uh, yep, that's probably the road we want to take. I'm going to try and take the road way back to where we live but yeah you your encumbrance you can see we're eight spots encumbered down on the bottom left hand side of the screen doesn't affect any of your speeds or your stamina while you're on a bike so one very good thing about the bicycle but let's go and hand this quest in right so here we go then back at the trader let's just have a quick little look what have you got in here you've actually got some eye candy we're gonna buy those when we do get some final loot, let's go and hand this quest back in, and hopefully, well, look what the cat dragged in. Hopefully, Trader Jen, how wow, you doing? I think you had it in has something Good a bit job. closer. Uh, Grave Digger mod is quite useful if we've got any do any digging, but oh, hmm. usually they're very cheap to buy. But we have actually got 4,000 jukes, so if you don't want to accept one of these or have a look at it, you can press escape and then go back to this and just see what she's see what, see what what she's offering. Cobblestone is actually very cheap to buy. It's only 200 for 1,000 cobblestone. I'm definitely going to buy that. See if we need money or whether we're better off just taking the mod um why tempts us to take a decent helmet but it's the helmet light mod which is what we need and we can't get that till we find the book for it unfortunately she hasn't got that book for sale some night vision goggles but no right okay then 
I hope you get feeling better. Right. Well, that didn't take long. Nice uh, we're going to take the mod. No, we want to see if you've got a job. Medical supplies. There's a zombie apocalypse out there. Right. We're going to. We always need someone to handle the tough job. Thanks, son. We're going to go and do that digging quest quickly. Get the buried supplies because it's nice and close. But I am going to go and make myself a shovel beforehand. Right, guys, how you doing? We've just made it now out to this area out here. And I've made myself the iron shovel. And we've got the grave digger mod. Now, this does 15% more damage against dirt. So that's a very useful mod to actually have when you're doing some digging for treasure. Now, um, padded boots. Have we got padded boots on? Yeah, I was meant to sell those to the trader, which is where we've just come from. So... Let me get my bicycle out of the way. Three o'clock in the afternoon and let's do some digging. Now doing this digging is very fine because we need the clay soil for our forge anyway. What I should have really either bought or brought with me is some coffee because this is really hurting our stamina. That's the only downside to the iron tools. I'm going to have a quick look at my points while I let the stamina quickly go back up. One thing to really help with your stamina is putting points into Sexysaurus here, Sir Actual Tyrannosaurus, is this helps us uh, tool stamina by 15% and power attacks by 30%. Killing blows give me 10 stamina back. That needs to be level 3. We've got one skill point available. Now I'm going to put a point into here which just gives us general damage and strength. Um... When we get the cigar made, that will give us plus one in strength. Right, there we go. It's been made a little bit smaller already. So we're going to go in this direction. So when we have the cigar, it will give us always plus one in strength, which will be very useful for us. So hopefully, I can put my next point into Sexy Saurus and we'll be able to build the cigar. But... We've got to try and find a bear out here, which is um, not very often you say that, actually looking for a bear. But let's carry on digging. Right, there we go. We've actually found the buried supplies. It was right on the edge of that lip there. Right, okay, so we've got a way of getting out of here. We've got our baseball bat because we do know that zombies are going to spawn when I close this. What have we got here? So we've got the golden rot seed recipe, okay. Mega Crush, that's actually very good for running back. And water, some jars of honey. Right, a jar of honey. Oh, we don't need the... The plant fibers actually I'm going to keep because we need 250, 240 of those for making the cigar. And let's grab that. Oh. Didn't think I was going to be able to get out then for a second. Right. Oh, beautiful. What a way to start. Come on over. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'll be careful with those power attacks. Right. Lundy time. Oh, I missed. In that time, though. Build up some stamina. Beautiful. Was there just the three of them? Yeah, looks like the three of them. Did I actually... So what you've got to do is I changed over to the baseball bat too early. You've got to make sure the whole animation is finished. There we go. Now it's loaded. So you've got to be a little bit careful with that at times. I've been known to get that wrong. So we got ourselves 860 clay soil. Now, that's not too bad. And we're only a couple of hundred meters away from Trader Gen. So let's head back over in that direction. If you are here to buy, I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Oh, thank you, Jen. And the way wow, I keep getting hit, we probably need that. Good job. Oh, that's a terrible reward. That's only worth a hundred pounds. That's worth two hundred and sixty-four. We haven't got any guns yet, so we're gonna take that. 
Do you have any jobs, right? You've got another berry supplies, nice and close. Oh, we've actually got a clear. I'm going to oh, take the clear. The to get Dukes. If you finish two more jobs this week, I will give you employee of the month. Oh, thank you very much. Employee of the month. Now, let's sell you that and sell you that, which we were meant to do last time we were here. That's cleared <laughs> up. brighten my day. Inventory a little bit more. You. Did you have a cigar? No. No, not yet. Now, when we complete all the tier Don't one quests, <laughs> she will send us we'll to again. see another trader, which will be very useful. Now, let's go and do this clear. I know we said we were going to go and work on the board base. I've got a couple of different ideas with that hall base. We're definitely going to be holding it down in the cell tower. But I haven't completely decided which design I want to go for yet. And it's only 6 o'clock in the evening, so we've got a couple of hours yet. So let's quickly get this clear, done and dusted, out the way. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we've already done this quest. Right, I sorted you out. We've already done this, which is um, fairly annoying. Right, let's quickly rush. Let's actually change the doors. Okay, let's quickly rush through this then. There we go, another skill point, so we're trying to do this as fast as possible. It's annoying that they've given us the same quest again. Oh, that's nice, hunting knife schematic. Quickly read that. Scrap that. What have we got here? Some padded leg armor, which is better than what we're wearing in terms of durability, but I think I'd rather have the scrap armor on just for the moment. Right, what have we got here in the washing machines? Nothing much. A cloth. Some shades there as well. Oh, typical. We're going to get wrenches everywhere now, aren't we? Are you going to give us anything in that one? No. And we got a vitamin as well. Right. Let's finish this off. Let's get up here. Eight o'clock in the evening. Don't take any chances. There we go. Right, let's get those reloaded. Anybody in here? Surprising with the amount of sinks that we've already found. It took us so long to find a wrench. 
doing very well for mushroom seeds as well. We got a few of those earlier on. Which is normally a very, very difficult thing to get in the game. Right, uh, clear areas. There's still got to be another one somewhere. Sort you out. Right, there's another one. Right, well, this is a room we had the issues with. Right, come on then. Oh. Now completely out of stamina we were then, and we need to use a repair kit on this. Look how much health was left on that. Right, are we actually wearing any shades? Yeah, we're wearing the same ones anyway. May as well wear them for the second. Right. What have we got here? Oh. So 9 mil and some more blunderbuss ammo, so that will help us with that. Some more honey. We're doing very well for honey. The game must know we're going to get infected a lot. I need to do this fast, because I would like to get back to the trader if at all possible. Not giving us much time, though. Uh, we've got a double storage mod. Oh, and a barbed wire mod, so we can turn this... Baseball bat into a loose seal. Anything in the purse? First aid bandage. Perfect. Right. Let's try and get back to the trailer as fast as we can. Right. Well, having absolutely zero stamina trying to get out of that gate has meant we're not getting back there in time. So we're going to have to go back to our base just for overnight and then day seven tomorrow is the horde night so we're leaving everything down to the last minute now i haven't found anywhere yet like a construction house or anything like that which i would like to show you guys which is the best place for getting cobblestone and things like that which is really what i would have liked to have used to help build Hall base, but unfortunately, I haven't actually found anything like that. So, tomorrow we're gonna ha literally have to do the whole thing, but the hall doesn't turn up till 10 o'clock, so we do have the whole day. Uh, let's put our jukes on here quickly. There we go, and um, we're gonna keep a wrench on there, right? Literally 10 o'clock. Let's get ourselves up here. Crouch down out of the way. Keep ourselves nice and quiet. Right. So this barbed wire mod here, we can use on our baseball bat. So at the moment, we've got the weighted head mod. I'm going to take that off and put the barbed wire mod onto there. The weighted head, I'm actually going to put onto probably the fire axe. There we go. Now, I'm going to keep the normal bandages on me for the second and keep this one here. Scrap those. Let's have a quick look at our armor. We've got some level 2 armor here, so if we modify that, we can put the double storage mod onto here. That will open up two more spots, so there we go. We're not, not far off now. Scrap this. Uh, it's not even worth any any money we'll sell those hundred dukes and got a bit of food here we're doing very well for mushroom seeds and yeah the rest of this i think i'm just going to put into storage those molotovs could come in handy tomorrow night and a bit more of that up right um so tomorrow we're going to be using cobblestone blocks so if i come out of here Cobblestone is made up from just normal stone 
and clay soil one to one which is pretty good and from that we can make flagstone blocks so they take four to make from a flagstone block and we can upgrade those as well and i'll show you the fastest and best way do we actually have any flagstone we've actually bought out and flagstone i did forget about that so we've actually got quite a bit here already we've got plenty of molotovs unfortunately we don't have any sort of weapon yet we don't have a gun or anything like that now we are dehydrated so we're going to have to take just use some normal bottled water we're getting a little bit low on the old food side here that's the coffee I should have taken with me earlier. Right, four of those should sort me out. Let's put these down here. There we go. That'll keep our ten things there. Right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave you for this episode. It has going to get. It is going to come down to the final day, day number seven. And we're going to be building a horde base. This happens quite a lot with me, I'm afraid. But um, things haven't really gone our way in this town. But it, it could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Guys, any comments? Big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it. I'll catch up with you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.